Hi, welcome to this solid short where we're looking at assembling. So we've got a component here and we want to assemble this part in three locations around here. This has been done a mixture of synchronous and ordered so we haven't got any sketches we can work with. So the first thing I want to introduce us to is um, if you right click in your parts library, if part library, part library doesn't appear, click on insert component and that will go and get rid of it. Even if I go and close that and get rid of that and I click on insert component, the part library is going to appear. Um, and make sure it's pinned, so make sure we've got the, the pin height, the pin so it's not set to auto hide. So what we've got, if we right click, if, if this is full and there's loads, we just, just find some white space, right click, I'm going to get certain options. So we've got here we've got options where we can show component reference planes. So this means that if I go and drag one of these components in, it's then going to go and show the reference planes while we're, um, yeah, what, yeah, um, whenever we go and drag that part in when it's set to that. So that can be useful in this instance on here. But for this, we're going to go and constrain this. Um, so I'm going to use the assemble command. We can click on assemble to start it, or we can click on the component. And the very first icon on here, edit definition, is M is to edit your assembly relationships. So that's going to put it into the same mode. We can see assembled is also highlighted. Um, so the first thing I want to do, I'm going to connect that to, I've got a little lip on here, so I want that to be connected to that on there. Um, next, I want to go and change it. I like to use these ones because it shows us what our relationship types are. Up here we can be scrubbing around, hovering over, trying to figure out what it is. I want a tangent. So there's my tangent. And I'm going to go and make that tangent to there. So next we want to constrain this. So I'm going to turn on the base reference planes. Um, I don't want top. I just want the, the front one. So I'm going to go and turn that one on. If I then click on this component and go into assemble, we've got a option on here where we can go and show. Um, ever so slightly different in the older versions, but they're still the same kind of option. And that's going to show the reference planes temporarily until we exit the command on here. So now I can go and choose these two planes, and that's going to get that constrained up on there. And they're going to just globally hide the reference planes. So if we click on that part, we can see the bottom of the screen, it's now showing fully positioned. And obviously the icon has no longer got its freedom lines on there. What we can then do is go and constrain this several different ways. Um, my preferred method, I'm going to go and put this in three times. So I'm going to choose the part, make sure we're on the home tab. I know that there are other options for patterning on other tabs, so make sure we're on the home tab. And for this, I'm going to choose a long curve. And I'm going to use the edge on this component. And then I'm going to select. I'm not going to do any offset, so I'm just going to, there's lots of options in here, but we're just doing a very basic one. So we're going to end up skipping through. I just want three versions where we're going to go and fit that. I'm then going to go and choose next. We're not going to do anything clever. I'm then going to go and choose that method and then finish. Okay, so we've got that part constrained. We've got a pattern. If this part gets bigger or smaller, that's going to adjust that pattern automatically. Okay, hopefully that's been a useful little short video on assembling using tangents and reference planes.